Eruvaur, with the help of Cattle Eye and Professor George Oikonomou from the University of Liverpool, have been tackling lameness with the innovative use of deep machine learning and visual recognition software. I've been identifying uh, lame cows in the past by uh, mobility scoring the cows when, as they're walking out of the parlour. We take usually a milking a month um, watching the cows walking out and we'd have a sheet um, and score them to between one, one and three. It'd be a bit of a chore really to do it and we'd never be on time doing it. it one of them things, one of them jobs is that we're really forced to do but uh, we, we always thought there was, a, there was a benefit to it. We're trialling this cattle eye system out now and uh, it's taking the pressure off doing that job every, every month. Now we just take the information off my app on the phone as I'm walking down the cows and then we keep an eye on the cows as they're walking up and down into the fields and stuff. So it's quite easy to check how the progress is going with, with if there's a lame cow or if I'm a bit in doubt or something becoming lame, I can keep an eye on it. Yeah, since using the system, we've got a list of cows that come up on my app with cattle eye and I can look at it whenever I want. There's a monthly graph on it and, and it shows how the performance of you know, the foot trimmer is working and, and I've got a list of cows so I can present to the foot trimmer every fortnight as it comes. George then and his team in Lehers are monitoring what progress they're doing and keeping an eye on them as well. So we've got a to-do list of cows every month, every fortnight now. The record keeping of, of my lame cows now, it's in the app, in the phone and it's, it's there to be seen for the last 12 months or since we've been using it and it'll be a handy record to keep for my milk contract with Ala and farm assurance and all that so we've got proof that we're doing it really. I suppose the background to, to the technology, farmers are, are under increasing pressure to produce more food to, to, to feed a growing population but to do so more efficiently and without um, any extra emissions so the, far, for the animals that they're farming have to become more efficient on the other side of that as well then, we have a lot of negative publicity regarding animal welfare. Consumer confidence has been dented by anti-dairy marketing campaigns, focusing on how intensively farmed dairy cows suffer high lameness levels, and as a result, consumers and therefore supermarkets are demanding a greater welfare standard from their farmers. So Catlai was established in 2019 in response to these industry challenges and has been designed to monitor the welfare of farmed animals by taking footage from security cameras and providing insights that can be used to more efficiently manage and improve welfare standards. To achieve this we pick up early signs of lameness and give farmers an opportunity to treat that lameness before it becomes chronic. Ultimately, early indication and treatment will help lower antibiotic usage in animals and increase the overall efficiency of dairy farms whilst providing evidence to consumers and retailers that farmers are working to the highest level of stock management. So the Catalyze system is a very simple system in the sense that it's just a, a very basic CCTV camera that's mounted in, in, in the exit race of a milking parlour. So basically as the cows walk underneath that camera, the camera will scan the cow and then it will basically run our algorithm which will give it, which will pick out key points on the cow and then be able to give us a, a, mo a mobility score. Um, so that as the cow walks past on, underneath that camera every time, it will automatically recognise that cow from the previous time. So we, we're able to build up a profile of how that cow is walking. The installation process for the, the system is very, very simple. So whenever a farmer expresses interest in the system, we basically ask him to send us a WhatsApp video which covers the surroundings of the farm, um, the parlour, the exit race, and we basically review that with our IT developers and we'll identify what we think is the best place to mount the camera. Now, the, the camera itself is, is just a very basic CCTV camera, which all it needs to be done is connected up to the farm internet, which can be done either by a company that we use or else you can do it with yourself or with a company you're familiar with. So basically, once that is done, we then ask the farmer to walk the cows past the camera and we then train the camera to recognise those cows. So the only, the only interference really that the farmer will have will be walking the cows past the camera and noting down the numbers of the cows. After that, everything else is automated. Research has shown that increasing cow efficiencies can reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 30% per litre of milk produced. 
we have worked out that we can take half a ton of carbon per year out of the cow's carbon footprint by helping the farmer make better decisions to make that cow more efficient. This will also have a significant impact on the farm's overall profits as the cows remain in production for longer and veterinary costs are significantly reduced. The cattle eye system can judge the cow's mobility on a daily basis using reference algorithms from thousands of cows linked to the system, whilst doing so silently and unbiasedly. This allows the user to monitor the situation and check for any progressive signs of lameness and signs of healing post-treatment. As soon as the system notices a change in mobility for a given animal, the user can assess the animal's foot to investigate days, possibly weeks before any human visual observation of lameness. Professor George Oikonomou from the University of Liverpool is currently monitoring the findings of the project here at Erovaur and later in the year will disclose his findings. If you want any more information about the project here at Erovaur, please do not hesitate to get in contact with me.